how I know right where that is. <laughs> is this you? Yeah. I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. just gonna take it out. It's Gina? not fragile. Gina. It's dark. Here. And then. Now this guy's gonna be the customs guy's gonna be over in uh, already. Oh, well, he's yeah. gonna be in Anchorage. No, no, no. Here's what we do. You, guys you make all the and files. Now. No, listen. Bring the customs with me. Well, this airplane is in Nome. I'm gonna start. It's gonna originate here. But how are you getting here? I'm this here. Sir. I live here. Oh no.
mainland over there and I had a fucking dance. But as soon as we left off, you know, I mean, just when they reached the point, they lit two orange flares and uh, one bright red flare to, uh, to go give them a farewell uh, send off. And, uh, and then eventually the whole community did <laughs> go up to the beach. And, uh, I speak a little Russian, not much. Okay. Why don't you uh, tell me both your names, just so we'll have it on the tape. I'm uh, Gerard Kanuka, and this is my wife. Esther. And uh, you went over to Providenia and New Chapelino last year, is that right? That is correct. Uh, we departed here 1st of uh, August and then came back uh, four days later, somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. What was it like over there? Uh, the land itself was totally new to us, although it's just about the same uh, uh, type of land that we you see here. However, it's more drier, and uh, to be in a communist uh, country, it was a mind-boggling thing. Um, and you found some, some people that you're related to, some relatives? That is correct. Uh, there was a gentleman uh, uh, that wasn't directly related to me, to us, uh, that uh, we got sort of tied in with from the beginning. He met us in Providenia and took us over to Chapina where his, where his home is and where his house is, and he uh, hosted us for four, four nights. What was it like meeting somebody? Did, did they used to live here, or did your relatives uh, born over there, or what was the connection? Uh, everybody believed uh, that we orig all of us in Campbell originated from there. Uh, that is our mother language, and and uh, this is that's where all, that's where it all began. Hmm. Okay, um, you probably know about this visa-free agreement they're working on to try to let people travel back and forth a little easier. Uh, do you think that makes good sense? Would you take advantage of that? I am uh, quite pleased that uh, it came from the federal level. Uh, Murkowski is the one that made the announcement, and I'm. I'm optimistic that it'll go through, and and uh, the, the advantage is sure. The advantage is unlimited uh, to a gentleman like me if, uh, if I want to go over there, visa free. How often do you think you'd go? Oh, personally, I wouldn't go no more than once, twice a year. Hmm. Okay. Let me uh, ask your wife a couple. What What were your general impressions over there? Did you uh, Did you like it? I mean, was it a thrill? Yes, my grandfather and my father was born in Siberia, in Avon, but I understand that they don't no longer live there, mm -hmm. and they all moved to the scattering villages there. They were put there, and it was really uh, heartwarming that we could uh, look for our relatives, but uh, we didn't have enough time. And but it was really something for us. Sort of filled a void that, um, since all my grandfather's relatives were from over there. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you went back over, you'd have more time to try to find the find your relatives? Yes, I'd like to find both my both my grandpa and grandma was born over there. Huh. So, are you both from here? You're born here. Yes, I and Gamble. Is that a new mark? Uh, in the next few months, either personally or on television, one or the other, uh, to explain to you why it's good to read. So, uh, Mike, we want to talk about that a little bit. I got you. I think that it's wonderful that that language, uh, that your language, will live not only as a spoken language, but now. So that to encourage your youngest children to read, to um, help them to see that there are worlds to be explored through books and that you can't get to these worlds if you don't know how to read. And there are stories and adventures and all kinds of things that you can explore through books. And so as a part of this, I hope, and read to them and talk to them about reading. I suppose one of the most important aspects of this is that even if you don't know how to read and you're a mother or a father or someone
and what the words say. And then when that child begins to learn to read, the child can sit with you, if you're a person who doesn't know how to read, and read to you. And that way you're going to get a videotape that will be played for the young people. And I suppose if y'all want to watch it, you can watch it. I hope it's lots of fun. It has puppets and we tell a couple of stories. I wanted to see people in the community and here you are. So uh, you've got a real live governor here. You may as well ask some questions. And if you want to, i got to say this. Uh, if you want to join the National Guard, then, uh, and I encourage that, then you need to talk to General Schaefer back there. He can sign you up. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, Governor.